morning we're covering a bait I really like to throw when it's especially when it's quiet not much happening fairly clean water um, you can throw it in dirty water as well but to cast a whole chocka mackerel bait um, is something a lot of people might consider not possible but it is very possible you just adjust it to the size that's castable and then you rig it right okay and the reason I combine a whole chocker with uh, a mackerel is to get that weight to cast the, the chocker on its own has got a lot of wind resistance and uh, therefore doesn't allow for a great cast so I've got here at Can Marie now look at what I've done all right chocker but you get the smaller ones when you actually get bait from them you ask them for the large ones or the smaller ones and there's even medium ones these ones to give you an idea these two was in the same pack it's a small one with a medium one and when you go there you can select them yourselves now these ones I like to keep for this specific bait and you'll notice I've got a nice little small mackerel to adapt to this I kept it specifically to show you guys this bait and a, a smaller a smaller chocker which I'll still clean exactly the same way I like taking the skin off with all these whole chocker baits all right so first I take the skin off and then there's a couple of applications for this firstly when there's some pickers in the water and your bait gets taken off a bit quick I'll, I'll uh, switch to this because this is obviously a bit of a picker proof bait and what you can target with this is pretty much anything anything in the ocean will eat a whole chocker this size with a mackerel inside of it but mainly your fat flat fish or sharks your bigger and smaller sharks will pick it up and uh, a good size edible will not leave this alone so first we're going to clean the chocker take the insides out now that, with doing that you can put a bit of water in just squeeze it around to loosen up everything loosen it up nicely and it pulls out like that all right okay now this is all good smelling good tasting stuff believe it or not we might not um, find it too appetizing but it definitely is now here's the thing with making this bait in most cases when you use a dangle and you rig a mackerel you'll start from the head down and the head will go to your hook side with this specific bait I do it the other way around okay I start from the tail and I don't cut the whole tail off I specifically leave a piece because I'm going to use it to just tie it nicely on so that it can take that see I pretty much still cut it off but just that knob that little bigger bone there you leave on so that it ties nicely onto the dangle now in this case you don't have to worry too much about getting getting the dangle 100% right through it it can go any which way because it's going inside the chocker okay so as close as dam is what you can and then I've got that little hook there which I put on and then I want it far enough to be able to tie it to that little twist there or twist I've got on the wire to hold it and that's the important part is just getting it to hold nicely all right so the head's going to be on the sinker side and the reason I do that is to make this more streamlined for casting that's the main main reason I do that now onto this very simple I'm going to take all this nice gooey stuff with a chocker head you open it up like that you push out and you push your fingers in there to take the beak out the reason we do that is these tentacles tend to if you leave it in in the water it starts curling up and in my opinion it looks a bit unnatural some guys don't mind it all right now I'll put that nicely on there and just tie it to the mackerel the whole head and then what you do here get all the tentacles nice and straight you do a zigzag over the eyes and that's to bring the eyes out a bit okay and then we continue just tying this the intestines of the chocker onto the mackerel neatly and this soft part I fold back 
The reason I do that, so I still want the smell, but your bulky part of the choco will be in the back. You want to keep the head streamlined, tie that on, all that smell, as well as the smell of the mackerel. Now you can even cut the gills of the mackerel. Right, just to make sure you guys are still with me, your sinker will hook on the bottom, your hook's going to hook through here, the top of your dangle, it's going to come through there and you're going to stick it through the tentacles as well to make it stronger. Alright, so now I've got this little tube that I took off and you can either turn it inside out for more smell if you want or you can leave it natural like that and that we're just going to dress our little mackerel and stick it in nicely. Now look at that. Perfect little bait. It's streamlined. Your sinker is in the bottom. The one thing is this skirt is now not tied to it. Alright. So I'm going to put a bit of cotton in the bottom here. Remember it's a bit bulkier there and thinner in the bottom. So if you tie it in the bottom here, it's actually better turning it around. It will hold it nicely. You can even, let me see if I've got something here, use a toothpick and just stick it through the bottom there. Okay, tie around the toothpick like that. Also zigzag, 40, 45, 45. Have your side cuts is ready and nip the long parts off and there you go whole chocker cast bait all right so i'll rig it quickly let's just bend this my neatly rusted tongues tongs i really need a new pair of mustards these ones have served the years play with me all right and then I just twist it around there for my casting nip that piece off now just using a standard FMJ like I've got here a full metal jacket trace so it's full steel this is 150 pound I find my dangle which is here Okay, putting the hook through the tentacles just to for the additional hold. All right, on this one I've got an additional J hook. You can just fish the circle hook and that's perfect. On this particular one, if you've got an additional J hook, you're gonna hook it, stick it in, and let it come out at the right length. And you can vary that length to how you prefer it. Okay. So that's the bait. The sinker will hook in the back for the casting. Here on the bottom. And a nice streamlined bait, which you can cast very far. Whole chocker mackerel bait anywhere in South Africa. This is a great bait to target almost anything with. You.